Well, welcome to uh, another episode of Cooking with Jerry. So, what we're cooking today on the campfire in a Dutch oven. We're gonna cook a 6.75 pound chicken. And I've done this a few times before. And what I've done is I've actually used the Dutch oven on top of the grill. Uh, I've done it, I think, twice at least. Once uh, I did it, it was more experimentation, but I, I leave the lid about maybe a half inch open and cooked it with some steam escaping and moisture escaping. Uh, and it was one of the best chickens I ever had in my life. It took four hours for it to be totally cooked. The second time I did it, <clears throat> I put vegetables in it. That was just on its own. Second time I did it, I tried it with uh, vegetables on the bottom, the chicken on top of the vegetables, and the lid fully closed. And I did it on top of the fire. And that cooked too. Took it up four hours again, but I didn't like it because it was almost like the chicken didn't roast. It almost boiled in its own steam and the vegetable, uh, steam from the vegetables, the moisture in the vegetables. And it was chewy, if that makes sense. Uh, so I prefer, the roasting method uh, the best with the lid a little bit off um, and I just turn the pot maybe every 15 minutes uh, and cook half side half side what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to uh, put a chicken in there just with garlic salt some dill and pepper there's that awesome wind again we've had nothing but wind for two weeks so uh, I'm gonna put the chicken in there and just have the lid fully closed and then start it on top and then put it down in the in the coals. I'm thinking it's gonna be about two to two and a half hours, but uh, this will be the first time doing it. We're gonna eat it no matter what uh, what happens. So, uh, yeah, let's go from here. This is a farm chicken. Uh, before I cut it in the bag, what I'm gonna do is I like to put a, so I, when I first experimented, I put the chicken on the bottom of the Dutch oven, but it burnt, obviously. So what I'm gonna try now is I'm gonna put a little, take a plate and put it upside down. It's a ceramic plate, clay plate, whatever you wanna call it. And then put the chicken on top of that and that'll protect it a bit. And I see this plate I just noticed is made in China. So that's a good thing because uh, apparently the clay there, it has a lot of mercury and lead in it. Uh, that's good for the retardation of the mind it really slows things down so maybe that'll help me out maybe not uh yeah so i'm really hoping that that mercury and lead leaches out up into the chicken and i get the full flavor of it anyways i like to gamble in life so who cares we pop that in the bottom there's nothing in there in the inside here oh we got the neck nice I'll put that in later what else is in there nothing okay wash my hands wipe them on a clean towel that's that Pepper the hell out of it. This pepper shaker is as useless as tits on a nun, as my dad would say. A dill weed. So I eat a lot of dill and garlic because uh, going back 100 years, I'm basically half Ukrainian. So 100 years ago, that's where my relatives came from, Ukraine. Garlic salt. A little 
more. Salt and fat is like the best combination of flavor, I don't care what anyone says, that you could possibly have. So, that's that. I'll let you guys have a look at what's going on here. As you can see, the plates underneath there. I wish that fat was pulled over the skin a little bit, but that's okay, whatever. So she's pretty much ready to go. Chicken will expand a bit, so hopefully it doesn't pop the lid off, but it's so heavy that it'll be fine. This is where gloves come in handy. We're gonna start it off over here, just turn it every 15 minutes or so. My bridge lost a few planks, so I'm going to have to put some new planks onto there. Wood ticks are coming out and the grass is turning green. dancing stage for people to perform guitar and then when they're performing they can look out over the river sunsets over there and people can stand around the fire and stay warm what I've done is put a fireplace here and pipe the chimney out the side so when it's raining I can sit by moose and caribou antler chair ah, sit by the fire stay warm out of the rain and just watch the stars in the sky if it's night or watch the sunset I open this up and the heat blows on me it's awesome Got a little wood box from an old crate full of dried kindling. Oh.
I think I'm going to keep it on top and just move the lid off to let some steam escape after a while and just roast it on top again. It's going to take about four hours, but that's the best chicken I've ever had. And I think I'm going to do that again. And when you leave it open, the flavor of the smoke seeps inside a little bit and gets into the meat and fat. Yeah. <laughs> 